After years of bribe allegations for World Cup bids, the U.S. Department of Justice charged nine FIFA officials and five Associated Sports Marketing executives. They were accused of racketeering, wire fraud, and money laundering. Citibank, J.P. Morgan Chase, HSBC Holdings, and Bank of America are some of the banks mentioned in the scandal, but U.S. prosecutors say it's too early to say if there is any problematic behaviour. We're looking at those, talking talk about these transactions with the benefit of hindsight, you know, billions if not trillions of pounds and dollars are thrown through the banking system every day. Yes, banks have a duty to try and screen out uh, fraudulent uh, transactions, potential money laundering, which they do uh, for the most part very well. The continuous corruption allegations have started to spook sponsors. Last November, Emirates Airline announced it would not renew its sponsorship when it expired at the end of 2014. Sony, which had signed an eight-year deal with FIFA in 2005, decided not to renew its deal either when it expired after the 2014 World Cup. Fuel company Castrol and German tire maker Continental AG also decided at the end of last year they had had enough and let their contracts lapse. Other sponsors such as Visa have warned the will end support if FIFA doesn't clean up its act. They want to couple their brand with the values of, of integrity, of truth, of fair play that are inherent to a sporting event. So when those values are damaged, they, they have to rethink what they're doing. The organization relies heavily on sponsorship revenue to fund its activities, receiving a total of $177 million last year from its long-term partners. And while World Cup sponsorships are usually in high demand, Brand experts say FIFA would have a hard time replacing any council agreements as long as its reputation was in question. Wazir Khamsin, CCTV.